we ask ourselves on this Saba Saba day, is it still a democracy? Now, a latter day um, men and women, by this time young, the Gen Cs, have taken this a step further. As we commemorate Saba Saba, which is itself not even a national holiday. And as far as I'm concerned, if one was to ask me, this Saba Saba should become a national public holiday. Um, because it is so significant. This is, as I said earlier, um, the struggle uh, that brought Constitution 2010. But this struggle now has been heightened by the Gen C revolution. The Gen Cs uh, are both on the streets because in Sabasaba and Kamukunji, those men and women were on, a lot of them were men by the way, <laughs> uh, we don't mean de demean our ladies, but it comes to a time when at uh, that time a lot of men came out. But this time it's a lot of young women who are online, online and on the streets. We said during the funeral service of uh, the first one to fall, um, young man Rex Masai fell at 29. And we have realized between Rex and the young man Onyango's 12 years, a lot of them are young people uh, between the ages of 18 and 23 or thereabouts. And so they have carried the struggle of Saba Saba. And today as they gather in the streets of Nairobi or wherever they are, we want them to know that Azimio Laomoja, one Kenya leadership, stands with them. As indeed we stand with all Kenyans. But we must also ask some basic questions. We had uh, uh, demonstrations last year where we lost about 75 Kenyans. And the demonstrations on the cost of living, the high cost of living. And my brother Eugene will bear me witness. When we met as National Dialogue Committee, we had itemized item number one for discussion, the high cost of living. That was very important to us as a Zumeo. But Kenya Kwanzaa side said, no, 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 no. It is our business as government. You will not discuss. And eventually he said, fine. Then we went on to the other issues, the culmination of which was the draft bills that are now lying in the National Assembly. We think that uh, um, the low-lying fruit out of those discussions is the IBC uh, Amendment Bill 2024, which William Ruto has promised to sign into law. We say that this should be done expeditiously on this Saba Saba day so that we can have the process get underway of coming up as soon as possible with a new IEBC. Because the country right now is at a crossroads. This is not a, a thing that we think should be delayed for even one extra day. Allow us also to uh, really commend our leaders in the Senate, the whole Senate. I saw for the first time Azumio and Kenya Kwanza talking the same language at the floor of the Senate when they refused to go on recess because the country was burning. What happened on the other side? <laughs> the National Assembly. I think it was a tunnel that helped them get away from young Kenyans running away from their own youth the and the ambulance some of them i'm told the speaker escaped in an ambulance <laughs> and some of them tried to access vigilante house and the police for once told them no 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 the agencies are on you and you may have seen them escape by helicopter atop the kicc what a shame running away from your own people but the senate has stood firm and asked for, for once for accountability in support of the agenda by Gen C. So we, Mishmoa Senator Ambua, who is the Deputy Minority Leader in the Senate, for as a meal, we thank you and your team. And even those others like Bonnie Alwale 
And even I saw Cheruyo apologize. <laughs> it is apology time to this country. So these Sabasaba days are very significant in this country. Very, very significant. Um, of course, uh, when it happened in the 80s and 90s, it gave way to the um, doing away with article amending the constitution, the famous section 2A, to allow for multi-party democracy, which is what we are today. This time, the GNC has got William Ruto to do away with Finance Act 20, 20, Finance Act 2024, and also Finance Act 2023, which is still operational. Some of us hold the view that, um, for example, the housing tax is a slash fund. We have said it that we said that before. The corruption continues unabated. A lot of money is get collected and uh, no account no accountability with regard to how they use their money the problem some have said in this country is not revenue collection but the consumption levels the opulence <laughs> uh, the greed that has been demonstrated by leaders the inexplainable nepotism in this country Additional to corruption, nepotism, tribalism. But the agencies, congratulations, they have come up now with a country that we can say is getting detribalized. Because if you want to annoy the agencies, you, you, you talk to them about your, your tribe. <laughs> so this is a big achievement. And, and the days of transparency are ahead of us. But before that happens, um, there's a lot of work to do. And we have come to Meru to tell our brothers and sisters that the struggle continues, a luta continua. Um, even before we go to church and meet the people in Lari and, and also in Makutano later today. My colleagues can, can add something. We, we had wanted a, a, a written text, but I think we've given a summary of what we wanted to do. We say justice, we are saying justice for Rex, Masai, but not just for Rex because he was the first one to fall this year. The 75 of them who fell last year and whose families are still distraught with grief, justice for them as well. We say the people, men and women um, who have responsibility over these deaths still and we know them we have called for their res resignation and the responsibility begins from the very top we are not talking about 75 now 41 you're looking at a total of excess of 100 kenyans who fell to the police bullets tax for uh, task force to look at the debt situation in the country is unconstitutional and we know that um, those who have been asked to serve in that uh, task force will have taken note. The office of the Auditor General is the constitutional office mandated to be able to deal with this matter. Again, as Peter Munya said, cosmetic changes will not do. Uh, when uh, the youth engaged uh, uh, Ruto on the X space, he undertook to do several things. Maybe even to reshuffle his cabinet. Kenyans are saying, whether you reshuffle your cabinet or not, the problem is not the new or the old cabinet of William Ruto. It is Ruto himself. This is what the youth are telling you. This is where the way forward is to have IBC in place, we repeat, then call for a snap election. And what happened in the UK the other day will surely happen in Kenya. Complete wiping out of a corrupt regime. And what is about to happen in France will also perhaps continue. Change is everywhere. Na tunashukuru, vijana wetu, 
ambao mara nyingine tulifikiria hawaoni shinda zile siko wameamka zaidi yetu na wame hakikisha hii serikali iko iwanjibike demand ya agency ni uwanjibikaji wa serikali sababu serikali inasimamia watu na fedha za watu kwa hivyo watu wanasema lazima iwanjibike they want an accountable government not a government that leaves lunch when the citizens are suffering not a government that spends money in haoli and accountable and continues taxing people not a government that does not care about business people doesn't care about uh, the youth not a government that wants the young people to defy their dreams even as they enrich themselves and pocket the resources that are there so this demand for an account of government will continue na sisi tunaunga mkono jensi na tuko pamoja na wao these young people are very educated they are able to analyze issues <laughs> they have gone to the best schools so a window dressing exercise will not satisfy them so, so forget about saying you want to do some changes up here when corruption is starts from the bottom in ingia kwa civil service paka huko chini what they want it complete overhaul of how government is run so that they can see value for their money uwezi kuongeza kuendelea kuongeza taxes when problem was i would even say close to half of the money is actually misused ni matumizi na misuse ya pesa ya serikali wanataka yende chini hiyo pesa itumike vizuri kulipa hiyo mandeni Kenya iweze kuenda mbele so any cosmetic changes will not satisfy them neither will we, will we be satisfied as leaders so hivyo tunaambia agency don't relent on your demand continue demanding We just keep it here. Are we all here? Who was that? What is it? Ah, Nwewe. Okay, me. Uh, why should I hold it? Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, this morning we are very happy to be in Meru town. Nikaili sana. Eh.